I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to Siamese Mahjong, this is when two players go head to head playing two hands at one time. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. There are links in the video description below to a demonstration and the rules. In this exercise, I'm going to force myself to make quick decisions when I get my dealt hand. I like to do this for two reasons. One, if I ever play in a tournament, I want to be comfortable playing against a clock because you have to play in timed games. Also, I like to play online. And if you are not fast enough, the game will toss a tile for you. We don't want that to happen. So I practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to roll these dice for each sprint to determine which player we are. Odd will be player one. Even will be player two. For the first one, I rolled a six. That means we're going to be player two. Player two gets 27 tiles. Okay, here we go. Jokers, flower, dragons, white dragons, north, south, three, seven, pair of sevens with cracks. One, two, three, four, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, eight. I think I would do a year hand with news. Year hand with news. Done deal. Down here, start with sevens and the flower. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine potential or three, six, nine potential. I see here three, six, nine, seven, nine, maybe five, seven, nine, seven, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think so. Seven, nine, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Here we go. Maybe this will work. One, three, five, five, seven, nine or six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, lap. I would discard these first. This could be a winner. This is going to take a lot of work. We could maybe play the concealed hand. I think that's a single though. It is. So we wouldn't really be able to leverage that so much. I think these should go away. Five, seven, nine or six, seven, eight, nine. This is going to take work. I would just hold them all, get rid of those first. This though looks really good. This could be a winner. We could play news concealed or we could play the second hand down in one suit. Pung Kong, Pung Kong. If we could just get a two bam, that hand would be set. If we get east and west, then I would do it concealed for an additional 30 points. Not 30 points, five points, because that's a 30 point hand if we do it concealed. Okay, let's do the next one. I rolled an even, so we are going to be player two.
jokers, flowers, dragons. Two jokers, two flowers, red and green. Then we have almost news with a pair. One, five, six, pair sevens in cracks. One, two, pairs, three, four, six, five, six, eight, bams. Six, seven, eight in dots. So here I think I would focus on consecutive run one through five. And then I would maybe do five, six, seven, eight with the rest of the tiles. We almost have news though. Hmm. Okay, the one, one, two, three, dragon maybe, and then down here, five, six, seven with sixes, consecutive run maybe. I would keep it all though. We could maybe play a year hand lap. Okay, so this is what I would do here. I would focus on one through five in one suit or consecutive one, two, dragon because we have the matching dragon, or we could play the news year hand concealed. So I would keep all these and see what comes in. Then down here, I would focus on five through eight consecutive run in mixed suits. Anytime I'm working with mixed suits in consecutive run, I hold four numbers in a range around the multiple. So we have a seven here, and out of the remaining tiles, five through eight works. If I had to pick a hand, I'd probably go concealed. Five, six, seven with sixes. This would be the concealed hand under consecutive run, no gaps. But I wouldn't pick a hand. I would gather. When we run out of discards, then I would pick a hand. You know, what we could even do is hold this for a potential quint. Five, six, seven, dragon. I would discard those first. And then maybe the wins after that, because we have no nine. Since we have two jokers, it would be kind of nice to play a quint. Sprint three. I rolled and even, we're gonna be player two again. We have a Joker Flower Northwest pair dra red dragons, one, three, four, five, seven, nine, pair four cracks, three, six, nine, pair three, pair nine in bams, and then dots, pair twos in there. I would play three, six, nine. I see lots of potential with three, six, nine. Gather them all for three, six, nine. Up here, dragons. Four five dragon. Three six nine three nine. We could maybe do three five or three four dragon. Let's see. Five seven west joker bait. Maybe the pair may uh pair hand maybe. Lap. Oh, six. There we go. Pair hand. Three, four, five, quint. Joker bait. We could play the three, six, nine pair hand, maybe. Three, four, five, dragon, quint, maybe. 
four, three, four dragon, four, five dragon, joker bait. And then some kind of three, six, nine. I would just gather. I wouldn't pick hands till I ran out of these discards. This is, this has got some potential. Eight discards. That is the sign of a winning plan. Let's see how things went with the time. When you first get your drawn tiles, look for the predominant pattern or multiples or both and build around them. Gather as many as you can and find the categories that best uses most of the tiles. If you have eight discards or less, that's a winning plan, in my opinion. Let's see how things went with time though. You gotta have eight discards or less or you may need to come up with some plan B's and that takes time. So sprint one, one minute and 58 seconds, 0.91. Sprint two, two minutes, one second. Sprint three, one minute 40. On sprint two, if I were playing online, the game would have tossed a tile for me. This is why I like to practice. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try and let me know how you do. If you are new to this version, give yourself four minutes. If you are intermediate, give yourself three minutes and then push yourself to get to that two minute mark. When you can make a decision in two minutes, identify those discards and be ready to discard within two minutes. You could play online and the game won't toss your tiles for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.